okay so in today's video I'm going to discuss about uh, this how to install virtual machine boxes and mini operating systems if you want to test or install in your system without removing your entire system like uh, running a machine inside a machine so it's uh, here if you want to run like for example someone wants to test a new beta version of any operating system but they don't want to risk their primary operating system and so uh, how to do that so basically you can run an operating system inside a existing operating system using virtual box or any other virtual uh, framework like uh, VMware tools or etc etc uh, many of them are paid but today I'm here going to discuss about this Oracle VM virtual box manager so this one is free and my last video was recorded on this so as you can see here is the Ubuntu 20.04 virtual machine so uh, here I am going to show you how I do this and hopefully it will help you uh, many users like who are interested in learning uh, some pen testing stuff need Kali Linux to install but they fear that uh, their windows installation or any other installation might get affected by it so here you can try out any new distro you like so uh, before starting on I want to tell you that you need to find any ISO file which you want to uh, use during your installation for example uh, let's say Fedora okay so here type Fedora ISO okay so you can see download Fedora workstation and uh, yeah here you will find that on Linux you just want to install this ISO file so here are the links of ISO file don't install these things which are mentioned here just go for the ISO any ISO so it can be any operating system like Ubuntu also has ISO like let me go into the official site dot com yeah hopefully it is uh, so my internet connectivity is a little bit slower here so as you can see if you click on download Ubuntu we'll desktop and here you can find uh, let's see LTS version so you can see you download should start automatically and uh, here you go like this is the ISO file you can see raw CD image so I'm just cancelling it right, right now I've already downloaded an ISO file so uh, this is a step by step guide and I will show you the whole process so be with me here so first click on this I'm clicking on this new so if you are doing this on any windows machine the options might be some bit different I don't know I'm using it on my Ubuntu machine so you just have to figure it out from yourself so click on new then you need to type a name so it will be like um, let's say Fedora VM okay so now I know my path so you just need to measure your path you can also browse like this so here you can see like D backup let's say uh, let's create a folder like uh, okay I think I have a VM yeah VM HD okay so here given a name like Fedora VM right so let's make it this directory type is Linux version you what you want to install just click on it oh sorry again to Fedora so now next and it's saying that memory size now here memory size means your RAM size which you want to allocate for it uh, I have a 16 gig machine so I will allot like 4, uh, four to 5 gigs is enough 4 to 5 gigs is enough for a Linux system if you want to just test now if your workflow requires more a lot more it's totally up to you so I'm just going for it here next now here you will see create a virtual hard drive if you already have a hard drive use it go for it there's no issue but I like to keep my systems separate separately on separate hard drive 
so I'm just creating a new one and I didn't try this one but this one actually sometimes crashes just go for this virtual hard disk disk image uh, sometimes it becomes incompatible with different other versions so I don't know maybe any Linux fans out there might rant me out in the comments but I don't know I'm just saying uh, whichever you like you do I'm just going in for the virtual hard disk okay so now here's the this that fixed size or dynamically allocated so I'm going in for dynamically allocated because it's written here a dynamically allocated hard disk file will only use space on your physical hard disk as it fills up uh, up to the max fixed size so you will specify a size but it won't be taken fully initially it will gradually increase uh, as you load up data so it will just uh, be good with your hard drive and will save some space if you don't fill it up so I am clicking on dynamically allocated and next so now you can see here it's your virtual hard drive on the path we mentioned in my external hard drive and here's it's uh, telling that select the size of the virtual hard drive in megabytes so it's not actually in megabytes but maybe the description is from few years back or few versions back or have not been updated just to ignore it and allocate this you can do with the slider or you can do like this 30 uh, let's say 30 gigs or uh, what 30 gigs okay so create now it created this virtual machine as you can see here so now initially if you run it it will show you nothing like I can see you uh, like uh, what is this okay uh, so it's showing me nothing okay I'll leave it it's just booting with the my uh, bootable drive which is not found you can see here let me just close it up you can see a fatal no bootable media found system halted okay uh, what is this okay capture uh, what's shit okay so right control is this now just part of your machine and close it so you need to uh, adjust some settings in order for it to work so let me go into settings select mind it uh, select this one here then click on settings you can see name advanced shared clipboard now I like to give it bi-directional drag and drop also bi-directional so that you can share files it's totally up to you no big deal now base memory as you have selected CPU now this should be a limiter I have like an octagon so I'm just you know focus just to make sure it doesn't lag and all and then you can see here the boot order you can change it uh, whatever you like uh, okay so display now video memory is not allotted I have a GPU so which has more video memory than this so I'm just allotting it monitor count you can also adjust that now this one uh, don't uh, maybe oh yeah uh, my external GPU is actually now uh, on disabled I'm running from my Intel graphics card so it's not uh, showing up this just leave it as it is if you don't know what you're doing so now you can see the secondary controller is your hard drive so let me just no okay uh, leave it so this one's our host drive so it's kind of like a virtual DVD writer thing so don't scratch it so much and just it's like choose a disk file and here was the ISO I downloaded before so I'm just selecting it now click on this live CD DVD it will treat this as a live bootable media and will boot so that was the only uh, thing which you needed to configure is there anything else no is there, there is there anything else make sure this is checked don't uncheck it and uh, this settings doesn't matter actually here because we are actually using one thing so just click on ok and this time start now you can see capture and voila you can see that you just booted from your uh, live USB now what I noticed 
is that if you increase its size this wind remains the same so initially uh, you will have this problem so just start the installation media and wait for it to boot then you can change the display resolution from there uh, it actually doesn't I don't know why it doesn't support maybe I need to do some more research on this or read the article but actually I have no idea I tried adjusting the settings in the preferences like there is something why is it? ah yeah so there is a display option here you can set the maximum height and width but even if I press ok you can see this window was the same so what I found out that uh, let it start just then I will explain okay so it's the basic Fedora installation I'm just closing it here just go to settings then here you will be uh, where is it display 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 yeah displays so displays adjust the resolution so it's like apply so as you can see here uh, it's somewhat big why is it big this is my resolution okay so yeah uh, these title bars and all they are just taking up the space so if I go into like control and uh, what was it C maybe yeah uh, it's host key plus C means right control and C it may be different on your system you can just put it in uh, these okay it's again it's different oh it's set to four to three yeah so this one's this one will be okay for me yeah so i'm just going in again and again and pretty much it oh okay uh sorry yeah you can see it's full screen so yeah so you get this a virtual machine inside your actual machine so i don't know why is it ah yeah so you can see it's working just fine it's showing me what devices i have and all since it's not configured properly till now so and here might be yeah here you will find your vmware toolbox like yeah so this window is like this so yeah that's pretty much it guys and that's how you operate a vm so if you don't full screen or maximize the resolution you can't use it in windows mode at windowed mode as here you can see some screen area screen real estate is being uh, diminished by this so I'm just going to set a lower resolution than my actual resolution like let's say 1366 yeah that works better and let me see yes so here you go uh, so here you go and you can test out these new different things which are in this distro you can also update like uh, whatever terminal let's see sudo dnf update and it's showing me this updating checking for update yeah why and and and, and it's just calculating everything that will speed up so i'm just going to stop this right now so you can see fedora destroys already up and running from the live media of course it's not installed and everything so that's pretty much it for this video i hope you like it and this is the way how to shut down this machine click on power of the machine then off and that's the way now deleting a virtual machine it's like right click on it remove delete all files and it will delete everything so that's it go give it a try and see you soon next time peace